Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright, how y'all doing? Tonight, tonight, tonight. Like Maddie said. Ooh, can I spend the night with you tonight? Tonight. Alright, so how y'all doing tonight? I just decided I will pop in tonight to pay a visit tonight. I know y'all don't get to see me that much and usually it's at nine o'clock and I'm running late, but hey look. Let's get up in here. I just wanted to take a few minutes just to encourage a couple of people. I just, I was out there. What? That, that, that what? It just don't make no sense, y'all. I still got the same look I got. And I, I said in, the, in my title that I don't own rights to music. And they still sent me. This little thing says that they're going to hold on that. They're blocking the video. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm going to look to see. I clearly said I don't own rights to music at, in the top, in the title. And they still sent this thing. I, you know, I don't know. Um, I heard a lady talking today that said that Facebook had took all her monetary, um, everything that she had got, Facebook took it. I don't know what's going on with them. But um, anyway, let's move on. They may not let this stay up, so you're catching it live, so thank God for that. Because they may, you know, they may either mute it or take it down. I don't know what Mark got going on, but um, maybe he'll listen to this and be blessed too. But look, I wanted to talk to y'all tonight just to, um, just to do a little encouragement. I was uh, actually helping the boys uh, get cleaned up earlier in the um, food truck and everything. And so, just came in the house and started getting myself settled in and all so just thinking about something but look i want to talk to y'all out of first samuel chapter 30 tonight i just want to just be uh, uh just a little encouragement to you know whomever it is that may need a little encouragement along the way because sometimes you just need a little encouragement you just need something to be said that lets you know that you know everything is going to be all right something that you know just somebody to say sometimes sometimes you just need somebody to tell you i love you sometimes you just need a hug sometimes you just need you know somebody to come through to say hey listen everything is going to be fine just settle yourself down everything is going to be okay you know i know it's real difficult right now or it seems real difficult but everything is going you know it's going to work out it, it really is it's going to work out you're going to look back at this moment after a while and say whoo I didn't think I was going to come through that, but look, you know, the Lord brought me through that. You're going to realize that it's only building muscle. It's only building character. It's only building a testimony. So you're going to look back at it and be able to, you know, to see that. So don't beat yourself up in your difficult times. Don't, 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 you know, don't just tear yourself down in your difficult times. Just, you know, allow me to encourage you or be one of the ones that encourage you tonight you know to say to you but in first samuel chapter 30 it's a situation that was kicking off where david you know he and his troops and all find themselves they go to ziglag and they see that everything that they had had been taken even their wives i mean everything was gone everything was gone even their wives have been taken and held captive. So you've been in, a, you know, I don't know if you've been in a situation where it just seems like all hope is lost, where it just seems like, my God, what else can I go through? What else can I take? How much can I, how much more can I deal with? Dang, you know, why? how much difficult is it going to be? It seems like one door after another door and another door after that door and this and after that and all. Just so much just going on at one time and so he comes in him and his troops whether they had been coming out of battle or what I don't know but they come into Ziglag and it says this right here hey um hey Cena it says this here you know it starts out in in, in this is first Samuel chapter 30 
And it starts out in saying when David and his men came to Ziglag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south in Ziglag and they had smitten Ziglag and had burned it with fire. So now look, check this out. I need y'all to please hear this and go with me in your head and allow me to encourage you. Please allow me to encourage you. It says that when they made it to Ziglag, they realized that the Amalekites, which were their enemies, people that did not like them, had already gone into the territory. Listen to me now. This is the type of situation where somebody had already took your name to the place before you got there. They knew that you were in route to get there, but they had already told the people don't hire her. They had already told the people don't do business with her. They had already told the people what they thought about you, trying to discredit you, trying to you know, to demise you, trying to tear down your name and trying to tear down what you were trying to build and all. So they had already done this. It says when they got there, the Amalekites had already invaded the South and Ziglag and had smitten, I mean smitten, which means to smite me they had literally just tore it down. They had torn down Ziglag and had burned it with fire. So now what that says to me, and maybe it says to you too, is that they were they had all plans of David them not being able to ever go back there again. Listen, you talking about burning some bridges? That was this type of situation. They had already set it up. I feel the Holy Spirit. Let's get ready to go. Let's get ready to do this tonight. If I feel my help now, I feel my help now. Let's get ready to do this. Check this out right here. I, I'm telling y'all, boy, I love God. This is the thing about it. What this says, it says they burned it with fire. So they wanted to make sure that these people were not able to go back there ever again. They didn't want them to be able. Maybe there's somebody that attempted to try to kill. It's 1 Samuel 30. Maybe there's somebody that attempted to try to kill a relationship. Maybe somebody went and told somebody something and caused y'all friendship or, or what y'all thought was a friendship to, you know, to be severed or torn apart part and all because of something that somebody told it. Maybe somebody had went to someone that you were trying to do business with and they had already talked about your name. God, I feel this in the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. Listen to me now. I'm, I'm feeling this in the Holy Ghost. Uh, it could be me somebody is doing it too, but I'm sensing it in the Holy Spirit that there are some miles that are attempting to go in front of you. There are some miles that are attempt, attempting to wag in front of you that are going to try to attempt to tear down some things. But baby, if y'all just hold on and ride with me for the rest of this journey, because <laughs> baby, when I tell you the conductor is leading the train, he is here leading the train. Now check it out. Now they burn the place, which means that we want to make sure that there is nothing left there, that there is no more life there. We want to take everything, all of the life and everything out of Ziglag. And we want to make sure that they cannot go back to this place ever again. We want to tear that relationship down so that it can't ever be built back up. We want to call some kind of problems. God, help your servant tonight. We want to call some kind of problems to make sure that it cannot ever be fixed. It cannot be repaired. Why? Because we got a problem. We got a problem with David. Yeah, we got a problem with David. Because see, check this out. Notice the scripture says, I'm still in verse 1. 1 Samuel chapter 30, I'm still in verse 1. Verse 1 says, David and his men. So that means that David was literally an influential man. That meant that David had people that he was influencing. There were people that was following after David. There were people, Lord have mercy. There were people that, dear friend, you're going to do this. I'm going to do it. There were people that was listening to David and all. And so they were literally what I believe is, is that people fight against you because of your level of influence. Y'all don't. Y'all, 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 y'all. Nobody gets mad at a person that don't have any influence. But whenever you got, hey, baby, help me, Lord. Whenever you got influence, that's what causes people to get mad. I can prove it to you. I studied this thing out a few years ago, just within my spirit and my own private time with God. And I said, what was the 
the problem? Why was there such an issue against Jesus for real? What was it? What was the issue? Was it because he was the son of God that they were mad about? Is that what it was? Because he was literally the only person being called the son of God? Is that what it was? He says, no, Delphine, that is not what it was. He says, look, I need you to go to Philippians chapter 2, Delphine. I said, son, I said, what do what you say, Lord? I need you to go to Philippians chapter 2. So I went to Philippians chapter 2. And in Philippians chapter 2, it says, and when the fame of him, Lord, have mercy. Did y'all hear it? It said, and when the fame of him had went throughout all the land. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying to you. When the fame of him had went throughout all the land, when the fame of him your influence, man, your influence, your influence will cause some stuff to happen to you. Your influence will cause some people to not like you. <laughs> you go do this, Delphine. I'm going to do it. Y'all better watch me do it. Look, check this out. Your influence will cause some problems. There are people that do not like me right now because of my level of influence. They wish they had the same level of influence themselves. They wish that they could get people to listen. Now, they wish that they could get people to literally buy into what it is that they are saying. And so the level of influence will literally cause problems. So you see, David had a level of influence. God help me. David had a level of influence. It said he had me and him and his men go into Ziglag where his wives and children are. And when they get there, everything has literally been taken and literally has been burned. It has literally been burned. But baby, I ain't finished working this text yet. I ain't finished scaling this fish yet, baby. Uh-uh, I ain't finished scaling this fish. When I get finished, I'm going to cut the head off, going to clean it out, fry it up, everything. Put a little hot sauce on it. Watch what I tell you. I ain't finished with the text yet. It says that they go there, they burn the place now. But let me tell y'all something about God. I, I, I need to tell y'all something about the God you serve. I need to tell y'all something about the God you, 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 Lord help me please. I wasn't trying to do all this. I was just gonna chill, just encourage y'all, but I'm gonna do what I need to do. Listen, check this out. Let me tell y'all something about the God you serve. The God that you serve. The God that sits high and look low. The God that dwells among us. The God that owns the throne. The God that created everything Everything, the God that there was no God made before him, neither after him. On oh, the God which is known as El Shaddai, on oh, the God which is known as El Elyon, the God that is known as uh, uh, Jehovah Jireh, that God. I need to tell y'all something about your God uh, and how your God does things. Uh, can y'all please go, oh Lord Jesus Christ, uh, I'm in 1 Samuel chapter 30, Lord, please uh, let me calm down to bless the people because I need to to show y'all something. When they got to the place and saw all of that that was going on, when they got there and looked and said, oh my Lord, we ain't got nothing no more. Jesus, they done burn up everything. Oh Lord, they done just told my name up. They done went and told these people all this stuff about me. They done literally tried to destroy my character. They done literally tried to cause me to not be able to prosper. They done literally tried to tear down my business name. I feel all this in the Holy Spirit. But baby, wherever it's coming from, just know the wheels on the bus are going round and round. It's about to walk you down. So check this out right here. All of this when they get there and see that all of this had happened. Now to their natural eyes, it looked like it was over. It looked like it was over to their natural eye. It looked like it was done. Like, my God, don't you see there's still smoke going right there where they done burnt up everything. They burnt up our tents. <laughs> they burnt up. Oh, oh Jesus. They cause all times of the night. They ain't got no kind of respect. This, Lord have mercy. You know, they literally now, literally see that everything... <laughs> Honey, I hope it's an emergency because I'm on live. Is it an emergency? What's wrong? Okay. All right. 
Oh, gee, y'all, I might have, I don't want to have to cut y'all short, but Lord have mercy, God. Let, let, let me make this real fast, because it looks like I'm going to have to get out of here and, and get somewhere. I uh, look, um, uh, David goes there. It looks like everything is burned up. Everything is burned up, so it looks like everything is over. That's the way it looks. That is the way it looks. So maybe in your situation... That's what it's looking like right now. It's looking like everything is burned up. It just, you know, you can't really see, you know, it, 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 wait a minute. Where is the beauty of this thing? It doesn't have beauty anymore. We used to get along. Now we don't get along. What is going on? It just seems like everything is all tore up from the floor. So they're looking and thinking that it is over. That's what they're thinking. It is over. But baby, can we go down a little bit further? Let me move down.